It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it's the 49ers, leader at quarterback. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the 49ers and the Rams. And it's coming up next on well, the EA Sports. The onset of fall weather is certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And it's got folks... Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Broken tackle. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They'll just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he is going to have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. They'll go again here with Akers. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. A give up the middle to Akers. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now Hall. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. So here are the 49ers now with a long field ahead. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Now, that's not always an indicator of success. But in his case, it is. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And got his man, complete! Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Powers ahead at the 45. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. The numbers for him from a week ago. 14 carries, 68 yards, and a touchdown. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27. Here's second and five. On play action, they'll throw. Ayuk bringing it in on the crossing route here. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're going to look to throw. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. And down here, first and goal. If it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw again. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. 
Denver. And the Niners go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now a 7 0 game. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now here's a throw that's complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Throwing here is Hall. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Motion left, Cup. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now second and five. Now it's Hall. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Back to throw, Hall. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. Nick Bosa make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now back to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. The Niners are the perfect 4-0 to start the campaign. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. And he won't get any further as he's taken down right there at the 24. They'll look to throw here on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And Cross the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Niners are able to add on to that lead. Moody good with the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 
On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Here's Hall. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, Matt Ariza is sent on to punt. This is taken at about the 14. Found good room to run there. Returns it 14 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. He'll look to throw. He'll get this to his tight end, Ratu. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. from the gun. They'll try to run it. He's got it to the 43 here. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 28. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. They'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Back to throw here. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. He'll drop to throw. Able to shake it, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. An 18-yard touchdown grab as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more. Reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Paul to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this across the 50. And down he goes, the 49ers get there. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He's going to have the hook up to Scott. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Here's Hall. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. It's Jair Brown who's got it. And the 49ers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts 
as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Hall. That throw right side here going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. From the 23, here's second and six. Looking to throw. A short throw here to Latu. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made here at the 36. They'll look to throw here. Escapes the sack. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. A short throw here to Latu. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he... Touchdown, 49ers! A big play there, 44 yards, as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wooden, the famous basketball coach, used to say, be quick, but don't hurry. You can see that everything is happening for him, but he's not taking it at a pace that he can't sustain. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Third and 12. Hall. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 
fielded at about the 28. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Fighting his way through contact. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 56 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Right back to him on first down. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blow. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And the Rams will take over here just shy of the 30. Throwing here is Hall. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Hall. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. This caught by Latu, the tight end. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Back to throw, Hall. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that will bring up second down. They'll go with Akers here up the middle, and he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And that's complete to Cooks. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Here's Hall. Crossing route complete. Catch made by Cooks. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Hall over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. Again, he'll drop to throw. He gets it to Cooks. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 24-yard line. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Here's a second and five. Back to throw. Hall. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 
The Rams on third down. They're hitting at just 30 percent. Three for ten. This will be third and five. A give running right is Akers. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Second and seven from the 20. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and ten. Now a quick throw as they get it to Ayuk outside. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 30. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be in. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Hall now, throwing after the interception. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Scott. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Hall to throw it. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. Yeah, he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Here's Hall. Open man right side is cut, complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now. He's been terrific so far. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Now second and seven from the 23. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So the victory here for San Francisco. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'd be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. So for San Francisco, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on...